بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کوٹ آف دا ڈے اف یو کین ناٹ ڈو گریٹ تھنگس ڈو اسمال تھنگس ان اے گریٹ وے آئی ایم ڈاکٹر الشپا رسول اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ول بی پریزینٹنگ آئی ایم این سی آئی ٹو منتھس ٹو فائیو ایئرس انڈر دی کائنڈ سپرویژن آف پروفیسر ڈاکٹر سائرا افضل لرننگ آؤٹ لائنس انٹروڈکشن ایکسیس اینڈ کلاسیفائی سکس چائلڈ ایج ٹو منتھس اپ ٹو فائیو ایئرس ریسنٹ ایڈوانسز ان ایم سی کیوز At the end of the presentation, participants would be able to access and classify the sick child aged 2 months to 5 years. Introduction IMNCI is an integrated approach to child health that focuses on the well-being of the whole child. IMNCI includes both preventive and curative elements that are implemented by families and communities as well as by health facilities. IMNCI offers a holistic approach to manage childhood morbidity through three components. Access and classify the sick child aged two months up to five years. Assess, classify and identify. Assess, ask the mother what the child problems are. Determine if this is an initial or follow-up visit for this problem. If follow-up visit, use the follow-up instructions on the follow-up chart. If initial visit, assess the child as follow. Check for the general danger sign. Ask if the child is able to drink or breastfeed. Does the child vomit everything? Has the child had convulsions? Look, see if the child is lethargic or unconscious. Is the child convulsing now? Urgent attention, any general danger sign, very disease, very severe disease, give diazepam if convulsing now. Quickly complete the assessment. Give any preferral treatment immediately. Treat to prevent low blood sugar. Keep the child warm and refer urgently. A child with any general danger sign needs urgent attention, complete the assessment and any pre-referral treatment immediately so referral is not delayed. Then ask about main symptoms. If yes, ask for how long. Look, listen, feel. Count the breaths in one minute. Look for chest in drawing. Look for look and listen for strider. Look for look and listen for wheezing. If wheezing with either fast breathing or chest in drawing, give a trial of the rapidly acting inhaled bronchodilator for up to three times, 15 to 20 minutes apart. Count the breaths and look for chest in drawing again and then classify. If the child is two months up to 12 months, 12 months up to five years, fast breathing is 50, 50 breaths per minute or more. And for the child of 12 months to five years, it's 40 breaths per minute or more. Does the child have cough or difficult breathing? Classify cough or difficult breathing as severe pneumonia or very severe disease. Give first dose of an appropriate antibiotic. Refer urgently to the hospital. Pneumonia, chest and growing a fast breathing. Give oral amoxicillin for five days. If wheezing, give an inhaled bronchodilator for five days. If coughing for more than 14 days or recurrent wheeze, refer to possible TB or asthma assessment. Advise mother when to return immediately. Follow up in three days. If wheezing, give an inhaled bronchodilator for five days. Soothe the throat and relieve the cough with a safe remedy. If coughing for more than 14 days or recurrent wheezing, refer for a possible TB or asthma assessment. Advise mother when to return immediately. Follow up in five days if not improving. Does the child have diarrhea? For dehydration, if you ask for how long is there blood in the stool look and feel look at the child's general condition is the child lethargic or unconscious restless or irritable look for the sunken eyes offer the child fluid is the child not able to drink or drink poorly drinking eagerly thirsty pinch the skin of the abdomen does it go back very slowly longer than two seconds if referral is not possible manage the child as described in module two Now, how we classify dehydration, severe dehydration, some dehydration and no dehydration, some dehydration, two of the following signs, lethargic or unconscious, sunken eyes, not able to drink or drinking poorly, skin pinch goes back very slowly. If the child has no other severe classification, give fluid for severe dehydration. If child also has another severe classification, refer urgently to the hospital with mother giving frequently sips of ORS on the way. Advise the mother to continue breastfeeding. If child is two years or older, then there is cholera in your area. Give antibiotic for cholera. Some dehydration, lift fluid, zinc supplements and food for some dehydration. If child has also severe classification, refer urgently to the hospital with mother frequently giving sips of ORS on the way. Advise the mother to continue breastfeeding. Advise mother when to return immediately. Follow up in five days, if not improving.
No dehydration. Give fluids, zinc supplements, and food to treat diarrhea at home. Advise mother when to return immediately. Follow up in five days if not improving. Dehydration present. Severe persistent diarrhea. Treat dehydration before referral unless the child has another severe classification. Refer to hospital. Persistent diarrhea. Advise the mother on feeding a child who has persistent diarrhea. Give a multivitamins and minerals for 14 days. Follow up in five days. Dysentery. Give ciprofloxin for three days. Follow up in three three days classify fever high or low risk malaria no risk uh, no malaria risk or no travel to malaria risk area measles now and within three months classify fever how will you classify the fever very severe febrile disease malaria and fever or no malaria give first dose of the artisanuate or quinine for severe malaria give first dose of an appropriate antibiotic treat the child to prevent low blood sugar Give one dose of paracetamol in clinic for high fever. Refer urgently to the hospital. Malaria, give one dose of paracetamol in clinic for high fever. Give appropriate antibiotic treatment for an identi identified bacterial cause of fever. Advise mother when to return immediately. Follow up in three days. If fever is present every day for more than seven days, refer assessment. Fever, malaria, give recommended first line oral anti-malarial give one dose of paracetamol in clinic for high fever give appropriate antibiotic treatment advise mother when to return immediately follow up in three days if fever persists if fever is present every day for more than seven days a refer for assessment very severe febrile disease give first dose of an appropriate antibiotic treat the child to prevent the low blood sugar give one dose of paracetamol in clinic for high fever refer urgently to the hospital give one dose of paracetamol in clinic for high fever Give appropriate antibiotic treatment for any identified bacteria cause of fever. Advise mother when to return immediately. Follow up in two days if fever persists. If fever is present every day for more than seven days, refer for assessment. Severe complicated measles. Measles with eye or mouth complications and simple measles. Severe complicated measles. You have to give vitamin A treatment. Give first dose of an appropriate antibiotic if if clouding of the cornea or pus draining from the eye. Apply tetracycline eye ointment refer urgently to the hospital measles with eye or mouth complications give vitamin a treatment if pus draining from the eye the eye infection with tetracycline eye ointment if mouth ulcers treat with gentamicin follow up in three days for simple measles give vitamin a treatment severe dengue and hemorrhagic fever if skin petechia pertinent abdominal pain persistent vomiting or positive tourniquet tests are the only positive signs in the ors if any other sign of bleeding, if positive, give fluids rapidly as in plan C. Treat the child to prevent low blood sugar. Refer urgently to the hospital. Do not give aspirin. Fever only, dengue hemorrhagic fever. Advise mother when to return immediately. Follow up in two days if the fever persists or the child shows signs of bleeding. Does not give, do not give aspirin. Classify the ear problem. If yes, ask if the child is the ear pain. Is there any discharge? If yes, for how long? Look for the pus draining from the ear. Feel for tender swelling behind the ear. Mastoiditis, tender swelling behind the ear. Give first dose of appropriate antibiotic. Give first dose of paracetamol for pain and refer urgently to the hospital. Acute ear infection. Uh, pus is seen draining from the ear and discharge is repeated for less than fourteen days. Give an antibiotic for five days. Give paracetamol for pain. Dry the ear by wicking, follow up in five days. Chronic ear infection, dry the ear by wicking, treat with topical quinolone ear drops for 14 days, follow up in five days. Pus is seen draining from the ear, discharge is reported for 14 days or more. No ear infection, no ear pain, and no pus is seen draining from the ear, no treatment. Classify nutritional statements, uh, nutritional status, edema of the both feet, pink com uh, complicated severe acute malnutrition. Give first dose of appropriate antibiotic. Treat the child to prevent low blood sugar. Keep the child warm. Refer urgently to the hospital. For uncomplicated severe acute malnutrition, the color is yellow. Give oral antibiotic for five days. Uh, uh, give ready-to-use therapeutic food for a child aged six months or more. Counsel the mother on how to feed the child. Assess for possible TB infection. Advise mother when to return immediately. Follow up in seven days. For moderate acute malnutrition, also the color is yellow. Assess the child feeding and counsel the mother on the feeding recommendation. If feeding problem, follow up in seven days. Assess for possible TB infection. Advise mother when to return immediately. Follow up in 30 days. No acute malnutrition. Green, if the child is less than two years old, assess the child's uh, feeding and constantly mother on feeding according to feeding recommendation. The feeding problem follow up in seven days. 
check for the anemia, severe palmar pallor, severe anemia, refer urgently to the hospital. Some pallor anemia give iron, give prevendazole if child is one year or older and has not had a dose in the previous six months. Advise mother when to return immediately, follow up in 14 days. No anemia. If child is less than two years old, assess the child's feeding and counsel the mother according to the feeding recommendation. If feeding problem, follow up in five days. Then check the child's immunization, vitamin A and deworming status. Immunization schedule, age vaccine uh, for uh, at birth, BCG vaccine is given oral polio vaccine and hepatitis B. Six week pentavalent one, oral polio vaccine one, pneumococcal one and rota one. At 10 weeks pentavalent two, oral polio vaccine two, pneumococcal two, rota two. 14 weeks pentavalent three, oral polio vaccine three, pneumococcal three and uh, injectable polio vaccine. Ninth month, at nine months measles one and 15 month measles two is given. Vitamin uh, supplementation, give every child a dose of vitamin A every six months from the age of six months. Record the dose in the child's chart, routine worm treatment for every child. Uh, physical uh, 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 parental, promote every six months from one year of age. Record the dose in child's chart. Treat the child, carry out the treatment steps, identify on the assess and classify the child. Teach the mother to give oral drugs at home. Follow the instruction below for every oral drug to be given at home. Also, the instruction listed with each drug dosage. Uh, like determine the appropriate drugs and dosage for the child's age or weight. Tell the mother the reason for giving the drug to the child. Demonstrate how to measure a dose and watch the mother's uh, practice on how to give the dose. Explain carefully how to give the drugs and label and package the drug. If more than one drug will be given, collect and count uh, and package each drug separately. Explain that all the oral drugs, tablets or syrups must be used to finish the course of treatment if the child gets better. Check the mother's understanding before she leaves the clinic. Teach the mother to give uh, oral drugs at home. Uh, same instructions would be follow, like giving inhaled salbutol, uh, salbutamol for wheezing. Use of a spacer. Spacers can be made in the following way. To use inhaler with a spacer, remove the inhaler, crepe, inhaler cap, shake the inhaler well, and then insert the mouthpiece of the inhaler through the hole in the bottle plastic cap. The child should, be, should, should put opening the bottle of mouth into his mouth and breath and out through the mouth. A carer of the presses down the inhaler and sprays into the bottle while the child continues to breathe normally. Wait for three or four breaths and repeat. For younger children, place the cup over the child's mouth and use the spacer in the same way. Give paracetamol for high fever or ear pain, age or weight. Uh, two months up to three years, we give one tablet. And uh, for three years up to five years, we give one and a half tablet. Give oral anti-malarial for the malaria. Give the first dose of armithyr. In the clinic, observe for one hour. If the child vomits within an hour, repeat the dose. Give the second dose at home for after eight hours, then twice daily for further two days as shown below. RT meter should be taken with food. Uh, now giving iron. How will we give iron? Uh, or follow instructions given below. Age or weight, two months up to or two months up to four months. We give ferrous sulfate and then uh, 12 months up to three years, we give half tablet and three years up to five years, we give half tablet. Iron syrup uh, is given like one ml for two months up to four months. Four months up to 12 months, we give 1.25 ml and then about 12 months to three years, we give two ml and then for three years to five years, we give 2.5 ml. And teach the mother how to treat the local infections at home, explain the mother to what treatment is and what should be given, describe the treatment steps in the appropriate box, and check the mother's understanding before she leaves the clinic, uh, soothe the throat, relieve the cuff with a safe remedy, treat the eye infection with tetracycline eye ointment, clean both eyes four times daily, then apply tetracycline eye ointment in both eyes four times daily, treat until there is no pus discharge, do not put anything else in the eye, Clear the ear by dry wicking and give ear drops. Dry the ear at least three times daily. Treat for mouth ulcers with genta. Gentain violet. Treat the mouth ulcers twice daily. Wash hands. Wash the child's mouth with clean soft cloth wrapped around the finger and wet with salt water. Paint the mouth with half strength gentain violet. Wash hands again. Treat thrush with nystatin. Treat thrush four times daily for seven days. Wash hands with a clean soft cloth with soft water and use it to wash the child's mouth. Uh, Instill nystatin 1 ml 4 times a day. Avoid feeding for 20 minutes after medication. If breastfed, check mother's breast for thrust. If present within nystatin, give paracetamol and inhaled for pain. Give these treatments in the clinic only.
explain the mother why the drug is given determine the dose appropriate for child age use a single needle and sterile syringe when giving an injection give the drug as an intramuscular injection if the child cannot be referred follow the instructions provided give intramuscular antibiotics if the children are being referred urgently ampicillin gentamicin give diazepam to stop convulsions give rtc nuvet suppositories or intramuscular rtc nuvet or quinine for severe malaria Give these treatments in the clinic only. Treat the child to prevent low blood sugar. If the child is able to breastfeed, ask the mother to breastfeed the child. If the child is not able to breastfeed but is able to swallow, give express breast milk or breast milk substitute. If neither of these are available, give sugar water. Give 30 to 50 ml of sugar or sugar water before departure. If the child is not able to swallow, give 50 ml of milk sugar water by nasogastric tube. If no nasogastric tube is available, give one teaspoon of sugar motion when one to two drops of water sublingually and repeat doses every 20 minutes to prevent relapse to make sugar water. Dissolve four level teaspoons of sugar in a 200 ml of clean cup water. Plan A, treat the diarrhea at home. Counsel the mother on how on the three rules of home treatment, give extra fluid, continue feeding when to return. Give extra fluid, tell the mother, breastfeed frequently and for longer at each feed. If the child is exclusively breastfed, give ORS or clean water in addition to breastfeed. If the child is not exclusively breastfed, give one or more of the following ORS. It is especially important to give ORS at home when the young infant has been treated with plan B or plan C during the visit. The young infant cannot return to a clinic if the diarrhea gets worse. Now, what is plan B? Take some dehydration with ORS if the, in the clinic. Uh, give some recommended amount of ORS over four hour period. Determine amount of ORS to give during the first four hours. Show the mother on how to give the ORS solution after four hours. Reassess the child and classify the child for dehydration. If the mother must leave before completing treatment, show her to prepare ORS solution at home. Show her how much ORS to give finished four hour treatment at home. And give her enough ORS packets to complete rehydration. Also give her two packets as recommended in plan A. Explain three rules of home treatment. Give extra fluid, continue feeding, and when to return. Give extra fluid for diarrhea and continue feeding. Plan C, treat severe diarrhea quickly. Follow the uh, arrows. If the answer is yes, go across. If no, go, if no, go down. This is the whole uh, plan C shown. Give vitamin A supplementation as needed. Give mimendazole as needed and immunize every child as needed. Give ready-to-use therapeutic foods. G wash hands before giving the ready-to-use therapeutic foods. Sit with the child on the lap and gently offer the ready-to-use therapeutic food. Encourage the child to eat the rutaf without forced feeding. Give small regular meals of rutaf. Encourage the child to often eat five to six meals per day. If still breastfeeding, continue by offering breast milk. Uh, first, before every root of feed, give only uh, the root of for at least two weeks. If breastfeeding continues to breastfeed and gradually introduce foods recommended for the age. When introducing recommended foods, ensure that the child completes his daily ration of the root of before giving other foods. Offer plenty of clean water to drink from a cup when the child is eating the ready to use therapeutic foods. The recommended amounts of the ready to use therapeutic foods according to child age and packets per day and packets per week supplies given below. Give follow-up care for acute conditions, pneumonia. Uh, after three days, uh, check the child for general danger signs treatment. If any general danger signs, try to refer gently to the hospital. Persistent diarrhea. After five days, has the diarrhea dropped? How many root tools in this is the child having per day? Dysentery, assess the child for diarrhea. And malaria, if the fever persists after three days, do a full reassessment of the child. Do not repeat the, a rapid diagnostic test if positive on the initial test. Give follow-up care for acute condition, fever, no malaria. If my fever persists after three days, measles with eye or mouth complications, gum or mouth ulcer or thrust. Treatment is, uh, is pus is draining from the eye, describe eye infection. If the pus is gone but redness remains, continue the treatment. If no pus or redness, stop the treatment. Ear infection reaccess after five days. And if there is tender swelling behind the ear or high fever, refer urgently to the hospital. Feeding problem after seven days, reassess feeding. Anemia after, 15, after 14 days, give iron. Advise the mother to return in 14 days for more iron. Continue giving iron every 14 days or two months. If the child has palmar pallor after two months, refer for the assessment. Uncomplicated severe acute malnutrition after 14 days or during regular follow-up. If the child has complicated severe acute malnutrition, 
uh refer urgently to the hospital if the child has uncomplicated severe acute malnutrition uh counsel the mother encourage her to give no appropriate route of feeding ask mother to return again in 14 days for moderate acute malnutrition tell her to again return in 14 days continue to see every child 14 days until the child is uh, two z scores or more and um, uh, muac is 125 mm or more for no acute malnutrition praise the mother stop the route of counsel her about the age appropriate feeding recommendations Counsel the mother, feeding counseling, assess the child's appetite. All the ch children aged six months or more severe acute malnutrition and no medical complication should be assessed for appetite. Appetite is assessed on the initial visit and each follow up. Explain the mo mother the purpose of assessing the child's appetite. Offer appropriate amount of root of to the child to eat. After 30 minutes, check if the child was able to finish or not able to finish the amount of root of given and decide. Assess the feed. Assess feeding. If child is less than two years of old, has moderate acute malnutrition anemia, ask how are you feeling. Is the child is receiving any breast milk? Does the child take any other food or fluids? If moderate acute malnutrition, uh, or if a child is confirmed with HIV infection, falls uh, falls to gain weight or loses weight between months, ask how large are the cervix during the illness? Has the child feedings changed? Feeding recommendation during illness and health. Feeding counseling, stop breastfeeding means changing uh, from breast milk to no breast milk. Help the mother prepare, help the mother make transitions, stop breastfeeding completely. Feeding recommendation for the child who has persistent diarrhea, replace with increased breastfeeding or replace with fermented milk products such as yogurt or replace half the milk with nutrient-rich semi-solid food. For other foods, follow feeding recommendations for the child. Age, when to return, advise the mother when to return to health worker. Follow up visit. Advise the mother when to come for follow up at the earliest time listed for the above problem. Pneumonia, dysentery, malaria, fever, three days after treatment, persistent diarrhea, acute air infection, chronic air infection, cough or cold, five days after the treatment. And for the uncomplicated severe acute malnutrition, feeding problems, 14 days after the treatment, anemia, 14 days after treatment, moderate acute malnutrition, 30 days after the treatment. This is the IMNCI case recording form which is shown in the following diagram or the figure. When to return immediately, uh, bring any sick child. The figure shows clearly and how to give good home care for your child. Now it's time for the recent updates. Morbidity profile of two months to five years children according to IMNCI classification in pediatrics outpatient department of tertiary care hospital, Joka, Kolkata, India. Every year, more than 10 million children die in developing countries before they reach their fifth birthday. Seven in 10 of these deaths are due to acute respiratory infection, most, mostly pneumonia, diarrhea, measles, malnutrition, combination of these illnesses. The rationale of our study is to access the profile of childhood illness in the pediatrics outpatient department at MC Joka, Kolkata, India, so that the same burden can be minimized to promote healthy upbringing of the children before below five years of age. Results, according to IMNCI classification, 15.9% of the study subjects had severe pneumonia, 17.8% had pneumonia, 1.9% of the study subjects had severe dehydration. None of the respondents presented with dehydration. Only 1% of the respondents presented with anemia. Evaluation of the utility of IMNCI algorithm in predicting the illnesses, hospitalization, and management of children aged 2 months to 5 years in a tertiary referral center. India has around 240 million under-5 children and contributes close to 25% of the under-5 mortality. About 70% of such deaths are due to diarrhea, pneumonia, measles, malaria, malnutrition. Uh, 517 complaints were reported by the parents, other caregivers accompanying the children enrolled in the study. An average of 1.72 complaints per child depicts the frequency of these symptoms. Over 43% of such complaints compromised of respiratory problems such as cough or difficulty in breathing. One fourth of all the presenting complaints were fever and another 10% consisted of, of loose, bloody mucoid stools. Other complaints frequently reported were convulsions, vomiting, everything, lethargy, unconsciousness, not being able to drink and breastfeed and ear problem. Multiple diagnoses are the rule that an exception is under five sick children. Hence, vertical disease-specific algorithms must be preferred. Now it's time for the MCQ session. A mother brings his four-year-old child into the pediatrics emergency department with the symptoms of headache, nausea, vomiting, difficulty in speech and dizziness, and loss of balance. Mother also gave history of road traffic accident of the child. On physical findings, there is respiratory distress, blood pressure less than 100 mm, of G and Glasgow Coma scale of 10 to 15, the child should manage according to the guidelines of A, essential newborn care, B, INNCI, C, 
Integrated Management for Emergency and Essential Trauma Care, D, P, C, P, and C, and E, Emergency Obstetric Care. Would anyone like to answer? It's C. A public health experts team found that inadequate health system support and lack of trained health staff were the main constraining factors associated with the implementation of the IM and strategy at the primary healthcare facilities in Lahore district in the research project. Which level of integration needs improvement in this scenario? Patient and healthcare system level at family and community level health practices, patient and healthcare system levels, e dispensary levels. It's the patient and healthcare system levels. A three-month-day-old uh, male infant with history of sunken eyes, mild or no movement at all, and very slow pinching of skin is present. This is classified as some dehydration, moderate, severe, no dehydration or less dehydration. It's C, severe dehydration. A newly born child aged less than 24 hours with a history of yellow discoloration of the skin, which color is color-coded triad system of IMNCI is used to classify a child illness in this scenario. A, yellow, B, orange, C, green, D, pink, or E, red. Yellow. Yes. A five-month-old child with history of 60 breaths uh, per minute, chest and drawing, looking lethargic and unable to feed. She has A, cough, B, no pneumonia, C, severe pneumonia, D, very severe pneumonia, or is it E, angina? It's C, severe pneumonia. Yes. A six-month-old child presented in pediatrics emergency with a history of pain and ear discharge for last 18 days. Which color in the color-coded trial system is uh, uh, of IMNCI is used to classify a child in this, in this scenario? A, yellow, B, orange, C, green, D, pink, or E, red? Yellow? Yes, it's yellow. A 12-month-old child looking irritable and rested and also have sunken eyes and skin pinch goes back less than two seconds. The child also had history of loose watery diarrhea for last two days. The child should give food and fluids. The, give food and fluids only. B, give zinc supplementation. C, uh, give first dose of antibiotics. D, refer urgently to the hospital with continued breastfeeding and frequent sips of ORS on the way. E, give only fluids. D. <coughs> yes, it's D. A six-week HIV-positive male child presented in pediatrics emergency with a history of pain and ear discharge for more than 14 days. Child also missed a vaccination of EPI. The doctor should treat the ear infection with ear drops. No treatment required. Give OPV and BCG vaccination. Treat the child with ear drops and complete all missed doses of EPI vaccination except BCG. Give ADD. It's D. Treat the child with ear drops and complete all missed doses of EPI vaccination except BCG. A ninth-month-old infant had symptoms of bloody diarrhea with belly cramps, fever, nausea, vomiting for the last three days. On examination, child had sunken eyes, mild or no movement at all. The child had A, diarrhea, B, food poisoning, C, salmonellosis, D, dysentery, or E, plaque. <clears throat> it's B. It's, uh, it's D. A one-year-old child had low appetite and edema of both feet for one week. On examination, weight for height less than 3 Z-scores and mid-arm circumference is less than 115 mm. The child should require no treatment. Offer the child ready to use therapeutic food after accessing the appetite. Child should manage at home. Refer the child urgently to the hospital. E, ICU care. It's D. Yes, it's D. Refer the child urgently to the hospital. This is the key of the MCQs. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.